The importance of following the government's health and social distancing guidelines during the Eid al-Fitr holidays was emphasized by Ministry of Health Under Secretary and National Task Force for Combating the COVID-19 member Dr. Walid Almania. Dr. Almania was speaking at the National Task Force's press conference held at the Kronpen Center for Training and Medical Research at Bahrain Defense Force Hospital, where they highlighted the latest developments in the kingdom's COVID-19 fight. As of today, there are 4,300 positive cases of COVID-19 in Bahrain, out of which 4,292 are stable, 8 are in critical condition, while 12 deaths have been registered. A total of 4,462 cases have been treated and discharged. The total number of people tested for COVID-19 are 274, 711, as stated by the Health Ministry. In a significant move, Bahrain has increased the capacity of its COVID-19 pandemic treatment and isolation facilities here to 6,541 beds, with the current occupancy being at 4,289. Dr. Walid Almania, Under Secretary of the Ministry of Health, who is also a member of the national team to tackle the COVID-19, said this during a briefing on the national efforts to battle COVID-19 pandemic. A parliamentarian has appealed authorities to allocate a third health centre in Hamad town for people who now have to wait too long owing to high demand. Northern Region Municipal Council Vice President Yasin Zainal, who represents the 8th constituency there, said the higher population density, exceeding 100,000 people, is putting immense pressure on the two existing centres there. The Cassation Court rejected the appeal of a man sentenced to 15 years in prison for killing his friend in a hit-and-run case, which later turned out to be a well-planned murder. He will be deported after serving his jail time. Police opened the investigation into the incident reported on 8 February 2018 as a normal hit-and-run case.